So good evening, everybody. This is September the 6th, uh, Sunday, and this is Channeling Korea. So welcome, welcome. Um, I just want to give a little bit of um, introduction on what we'll be doing today. So we'll be, I'll be taking everybody uh, through a very brief meditation is for to assist all of you to um, get present and also to assist myself to get present. And whenever I feel the, the energy of Kriya really coming in strong, then I would start to do the, start the, the meditation. And it goes however long, um, whatever it is that, and then after that, we'll have a short, um, or I don't, as, as long as it takes for question and answer period. And then that is our evening. So without further ado, let's begin. Let's begin by just tuning inwards. So just start to focus in on your heart. Take a deep breath in and just let go of everything. Let go of any thoughts. Let go of the day, whether you had um, a lot of things to do or whether it was a quiet day for you. It doesn't matter. It's almost over now. So just let it all go. And also let go of any thoughts about what you need to do for tomorrow and just focus on being here right now and focusing on my voice and also focusing on what you feel in your body as well because my my words my voice is really simply energy simply energy to you to your ears, to your body. And so as you listen, just watch and pay attention to how your body is resonating or not with what I'm saying, with not just my words, but also the intention behind it and also the energy that is being channeled through me. And this energy that I'm channeling is to assist you to be more of who you truly are. Because even though you have a body, you have things that you need to do, bills to pay, people to meet. However, you are not just your body. You're not just this life that you have been living for so long. You are so much more. You are actually eternal essence being embodied in this vessel, your body. And your vessel is going through so much change lately, so much change. And your body is really doing its best to Hold to embody the energy that you've been bombarded, not just your body, but your, your psyche, your emotions, all of those things has been bombarded by energies that's been coming to you through all over the galaxies from the, the, the central sun, from source all the way being stepped down, stepped down to something that is relevant for you to experience and being beamed to you and relayed through the sun, through the star of your soul, of the solar system. So those are all the things that's, that's been going on in the background and your conscious mind is being distracted by so many other things, by what's happening in the news, what's happening in your life, your family life, your love life, your work life, your friendships, all the other relationships is, is kind of showing up. 
and sometimes they may be distracting you. However, underneath all of those, underneath all of those things that is showing up in your life, there is this part that is most important, and that is that your, your body, your emotional body, your physical body, your mental bodies, all of those, all the, the different parts of you, it's, it's all energy. It's just all different combination, different frequencies of energies that is representative of your experience on earth. All of those has been constantly being updated, upgraded, bombarded by the energies from the rest of the universe because we are all, not just the people on earth, the people on earth are going through a jump in, in consciousness. Yes, that's, that's the big news here. However, throughout the universe, throughout the galaxy, the same thing is happening to everyone as well, because we are all, we all connected. None of us are separate. We are all just different, I would say different points within one big tapestry. And we are each playing out and creating and co-creating whatever reality that we all agreed on in that particular sector geologically. However, we are all actually part of this one experience and this one experience of source is going through a major upgrade. That's why it's so synchronized with what we are experiencing on earth. On Earth, we, we are going from um, a very dumbed down version of, of 3D, or some would say the inverted 3D, and, and maybe to some is even two dimension. All of those is being upgraded all the way to at the very least 3D with the intention of absolutely going full force into the fifth dimension in a relatively short period, period of time. So, and this, this kind of rapid, um, this kind of transformation is usually done in very different ways. So Earth is actually, what we're experiencing on Earth is rather unique. It's actually very unique that we decided to ascend from the third dimension to the fifth dimension, to full-fledged fifth dimension in, in this way. The way that we are actually all choosing and creating our reality in a very conscious way. Whereas in a lot of different other planets, it was all just, um, it was done for us. Whereas Earth, the, the brave human collective on Earth wanted to do this, wanted to have this experience of creating our own ascension of each and every one of us being the director of how we experience this ascension rather than having one full-fledged experience, everybody experiencing the same thing, which is in a lot of other different planets. That's the way they do. And so this is really a very new experience and it's so exciting, so exciting. Um, I know maybe uh, on a human level, it's a bit confusing especially if, you, if you're not quite fully awakened to your own potential yet, it may feel a little confusing. However, the more you tap into that 
center center being that knowing within yourself the more you focus on that and really listen to that and not be confused by what's happening outside simply tapping into and allowing this part of yourself to unfold your heart is the center of your being uh, for the longest time we we thought that our our head our brain is is really the it's kind of like the the central processing unit of our of our vessel actually it it's not really the case our our mental ability our brain does a lot of work however it is all orchestrated from your heart from where your soul is connected with you with your body with the vessel the soul is connected with your vessel with your emotional body with your energetic body all through your heart so your heart is really the the hub of connection for the totality of you for you the multi-dimensional you from your heart you can reach as far as your consciousness your awareness will take you and the your brain only does the 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 central processing for your experience on the dimension that your your consciousness is currently um, residing on whereas your heart connects you to all the other levels the other levels the other potential so that's why it's very important to move into your heart to allow for that integration because more than ever now more than ever you really need to focus on that integration because that integration is what's going to help you ease into transforming and and blooming your whole life your whole awareness your whole consciousness into the new dimension into the fifth dimension and even higher than the fifth as as high as um, up all the way up to the 12th dimension you you are in control of how fast or how how much time you want to take to go from where you are right now all the way to the 12th dimension and then once you're there then you can also go beyond but when you go beyond um, it really depends on whether earth wants to would be ready to take you there or not so that is to be determined but in this moment in this moment you your heart has access to all of those and it's not that oh if you tune into your heart you're gonna to just jump into the 12th dimension no it's not like that is when you, the more you focus and connect with your heart the more you take the layers off the more you remove the resistance to or the the the, the blockage I say blockage but it's really in quotation because it's not really blockage it's really your soul is always in it's always in charge of how quickly or how slowly you are unfolding your awareness and your soul is really very much in charge now and when you tap into your heart you you really give that that signal to your soul and also to the other higher dimensions of you to come and help you out to 
to start to help you um, take away the veils that you have put on yourself. The veils is actually there to allow you to get all the juice out of every dimension that you go through. And it's not a, it's a, not a matter of, oh, fifth dimension is better than third dimension. It's not that. It's nothing like that at all. Third dimension has its fun, fun in quotation, of course, has its, has its uniqueness. And there are so many things that you can experience that your, your soul can learn and it enriches you so much. However, it's like, yes, um, learning to ride a bicycle with, with wheels on is, is fun, but there is a time, there is a, a time when you can actually, in order to, to experience more, you need to take away those, those training wheels. So the, the, um, the veils, it's kind of like training wheels. You, when you're ready, they would drop off. It's not really blockage because they are there just to give you, they are like the, the, the bricks, the damper so that you can actually drive a little bit slower or you can actually ride that bike a little bit slower so that you can enjoy the scenery and be able to really savor the experiences that you so really want you to get the most out of. So that's why you have veils on you. And when you're ready, when your soul has really gotten all the juice out of each of the experiences, then at some point you would start to be able to let it go and drop those veils. And you may be able to drop 10 veils or uh, 20 veils at, at one, um, in one sitting and then, and then just experience, enjoy this newer level of living without all the, the previous 10 to 20 veils and be able to see a little bit more and experience life just with a few more um, nuances. And then you would just go with that new, new level of nuance of living until it gets old. And then, and then once you have that experience, and you're ready for dropping some more. So that is the journey that we are all going on, that our soul is leading us, it's guiding us. And it's the soul is actually being very compassionate and, and patient with us on many levels. It, it allow us to to take the scenic route rather than, than give us to drop off all the veils all at once. So and we may get all of a sudden a culture shock. So or, or a dimensional shock where we see things that we we are not ready to see and we we see things that we see is is not the scary things, but we we know the intention behind. So, for example, one of the things that that um, fifth dimension um, is really full force. Fifth dimension is telepathic, so we'll be able to read each other's other's thoughts like we read a book. And I'm I'm I don't know about you, but I'm not quite ready to for everyone to to read all the thoughts that go th through my mind because they're not quite um, aligned yet. And some of the thoughts, I'll be really embarrassed if those thoughts that I've been thinking, it's kind of like a, um, like the, 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 
words on this that people can see on the screen, I may be a little embarrassed right now. However, tomorrow I may get to the point where I really don't care. I just want people to understand me. If they don't like what I'm thinking, if they're not ready to to、um, read my thoughts, then so be it. I'm just gonna broadcast it out. So I may be ready for that tomorrow, but today I may not be ready for that yet. So that's really what the veils are for. It is really for what it is that you are ready to deal with. And it is not just not just your soul. Your soul has to work with your entity as well, because the soul may have a level of、um, sophistication that our entity may not be. Because on Earth we have a lot of experiences that the soul does not has, and the soul. Also, vice versa, has a lot of experiences and exposure that the soul is completely okay with, but the entity is not ready yet, and the body may not be ready to to deal with all the emotions that's going to come up when we can、um, see everybody else's thought patterns and be able to read everyone else like a book. Our emotions may not be ready to deal with that yet. So that's why these veils are there for us, so that our soul can kind of guide the the rest of us, the the entity, the 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 emotional bodies, the the mental body, so that we we would just experience nuance at a a speed that the rest of us. Besides the the soul can handle, so that's why those veils are there. They are not, they some of those veils,、um, or actually none of the veils, are there because、um, it's somebody's you know doing voodoo to you. On one level, that may be the story that you want to to create in your mind, but at the soul level, everything is. It's really through consensus, and when you are ready, when your when your entity is ready to hear the next level of truth, then the veil drops. Those veils would drop, and it would give you some time to integrate all of that. And so now, because of the the energies. That are hitting us so so strongly, so that's why、um, maybe you would experience all sorts of physical discomfort.、Um, your body may feel tired. So if something like that happens, and you know that oh, I did not run a marathon today, or I I did not really do anything that warrants me to to feel this level of. Discomfort in the in the body, then、um, then know that that may be the case. It may be the case that you are simply your body is simply integrating all of the new energies that's coming in. That's that's what is happening. And I'm not saying that oh,、um, not to go out and go to see a a doctor or have a, a naturopath or have an an herbalist to you know kind of check it out. And I'm not saying don't explore those. Whatever it is that resonates with you, absolutely listen to your own inner guidance. However, if if nothing shows up, know that. It is also the case that your body is dealing with a lot of transformation energetically, so it is、um, understandable that your body may feel a bit of discomfort, maybe tired, because you you are processing all of these these transformation on a physical, emotional, energetic, and mental. Level as well. So now is the time to really listen to your body, 
and be kind to your body. And if you feel that there is any, um, that you need to uh, do, you know, binge eating or eating food that on some level um, your body does not resonate with, then also check in with how come I, I'm having this craving for food that does not support my body and really um, tune in. And when you tune in and work with releasing the tension from your nervous system, when you release that, really do some body work. Body work could be getting a massage. Body work can be doing yoga. Body work could be, um, you know, just massaging yourself, just putting a nice um, massage oil on yourself, just doing it on yourself, or just um, taking a walk in nature. All of those things are also body work. So not just the relying on eating food to, to feed the emotion to kind of, you know, drown the, or, or just um, express through the emotions is not just eating that, but also doing some body work and, um, and also just paying attention and, and doing things that really support yourself emotionally, physically, mentally as well. So now is really the time to be very kind to yourself. I'm not saying don't indulge you. I'm not saying to, you know, really feel guilty if you, if you ha eat, um, you know, a, a bag of chips in one sitting or, you know, a, a bowl of popcorn or anything like that. That's all, that's all good um, once in a while, occasionally, yes. But if you're doing that every day, then it's time to stop yourself and really, um, if you can't stop yourself, then um, get help, talk to somebody, ask someone to, to be your accountability partner so that you can start to work through that, that nervous tension that may be because of energies that is hitting you that you don't quite know how to release, is now is the time to find healthier ways to release that tension, to maybe just do yoga, or you, if you don't want to do yoga in a class, then just do yoga in your own room. You don't have to do, you know, all those fancy posts, just, um, doing something as simple as a downward dog or just um, just rolling your shoulders around or just massaging your own head or just massaging your own shoulders and just um, massaging your own uh, the the soles of your feet because there are so many acupuncture points at the, the, the bottom of your feet, at the soles of your feet. That if you just take some time to just work and give some love to the soles of your feet and also give some love to your fingertips and all those um, things that like your, your hands are, are so hard working. So just give yourself some love and do those things to work through the nervousness, work through the tension that your body may be feeling from all of these energies, from all of these experiences, really new experience that we are um, going through in the last, in the last little while. So, so now I just really in, invite all of you to do that checking in with your body as well. 
And this is something that we encourage all of you to do is to just we have spent some time with your body just listening to your body just go through each and every bit of your body you whatever it is that's comfortable for you you may just do it in your head just just like do a, a scan just a visualization that you are let's say at the top of your head and you just kind of move down all the way through your body all the way to the tip of your toes and just use a a mental picture to scan through your body and if you are more of a touchy-feely person then you may actually want to just do a gentle massage on yourself just from the top of your head just touch yourself just gently massage go in circle from your head to your neck to your chest all through the torso all the way down to the tip of your toes you can do that that checking in and also wherever you go whether you are doing it in your mind only or whether you are actually physically massaging your body just also inquire each of your organ to just say are you happy what can i give you what can i do for you to support you to be happy and just ask those questions to your body and see and listen give yourself some time and your body may talk to you telepathically or it may simply give you a sensation whether the sensation is a warmthness um, or it could be a little bit of pulsating or it could be a little bit of pain whatever it is that communication is your body communicating with you and that's a great way to increase that integration with your body our body is works so hard for us whether we are asleep or whether we are awake our body is always supporting us so to take that time to listen to your body and while you're at it when you get done with listening to your body with giving your body some love whether energetically or physically in as in a massage then inquire about your entity as well your entity is usually in your stomach area just a little bit above your belly button maybe about two two fingers above your belly button just feel how it feels in that part of your body does it feel warm does it feel cold does it feel like it's alive and and really communicating with you if not then do a meditation really do a meditation and just tap into that part of you and go from your heart just send love to that part of your body it's it's right inside you around the level of two in two fingers above 
your belly button and just start to tune into that part and really ask, ask your entity, what does it want? How can you support your entity to grow and have the experience that your entity come on board with your soul to have this time in this vessel, in this beautiful body and really listen, take that time and create that, that connection, that unconditional love connection with your body, your entity, your heart, and also check in with your emotional body. Where are you at emotionally? Are you feeling a little triggered? Or are you experiencing light, joy and peace? Either way is fine. Just check in because emotions, you have emotions and that is one of the, the feature feature of being in this human body is you have emotions. So enjoy them. Do not, do not really have any judgment against any emotions that may be coming up. Just allow it to come up and feel them to the depth of, you, of what you um, are ready to experience. We have emotions and it is a gift. So enjoy the emotions. And also emotions is, is intelligent as well. There's a message in our emotions. If we are always in, stuck in a certain emotion, then you may want to look into what is that message? because we are here to experience all emotions. We are not here to be completely dead or completely emotionless. That's, that may be something that we would like to aspire to at some point, but right now, right here, right now, no. Emotions is your guide. It's really here to support you to move through this experience, this experience of transforming, this experience of moving from third dimension consciousness to fifth dimension consciousness is really emotions is there to help us. So get in touch with your emotions and feel them and let them to come up, let them to flower, let them to really support your experience, support how you move from this third dimension to the fifth dimension and be fully be in fifth dimension to enjoy that bliss. To tune into that. And that really is what the role of emotions is for us. Emotions is really telling us what is in the background that we may not be consciously aware of. So what a beautiful gift is that? It is so juicy. So don't be afraid of being emotions. Love your emotions. Allow yourself to 
experience all the range of emotions. The only thing you need to be aware of is if you're stuck in one, just one emotions, then you need to look at it. But if you are able to move from one emotions to another and to another with ease, then that really, that fluidity is really telling you that it's a healthy emotions because our emotions is really how we experience energy. So love and embrace and enjoy that emotional body of yours for as long as it serves you. And we actually envy you for being able to have those experience of emotions going through your body because as spirit, as pure energy, we don't have that, that luxury of the full experience of feeling the emotions in our vessel because we don't have one. We don't have a vessel. We don't have the depth of that understanding. And that's what we signed up for. But that's not what you signed up for. You signed up to experience emotions. You signed up for experiencing this wonderful vessel that you have. So we just want to be here to remind you to check in with all parts of you, to listen to all parts of you, not just your soul. Yes, your soul is, is guiding you. However, sometimes the soul needs to slow down and check in with all the rest. All of you are ascending at the same time, not just the soul, but your vessel is transforming. Your emotions are transforming. Your energy, all your energy bodies are transforming. So check in with all of your bodies, with all parts of you and really enjoy this experience of being able to tap into all of you, because all of you are one. And when you really focus on and be adapt and really be able to tap into all parts of you and live as though all parts of you are in one, facing the same direction, synchronized, all of it. You can move so much easier. You can transform so much easier. So that's why we want to remind you that yes, maybe we have been focused on the soul's journey. However, the soul, there's no point in the soul journeying without the rest, without the entity, without the vessel, without the energetic bodies and the mental bodies. Is all parts. We are all in this together. All parts of you and all parts of us. We're in this all together as oneness. We are here to give you the other dimensions of oneness. And you are here 
to help us tap into all that part of you, your vessel, what you experience, we experience vicariously as well. And we thank you so much for being such brave souls to work with this emotionally, sensationally rich body. And it is a level of experience that we have no experience of. Not to the extent that you experience it. So we want to support you. And we want to let you know that we support you in all of this. And we want to remind you to tune into all that. The physical you and the non-physical you and also the rest of us that are also part of you because there is only one. There is only one consciousness that created all these different points of consciousness observing itself. But we are simply observing oneness from different points of view. We feel you, we send you love. We send you unconditional love because that's the only way we know how to love you. And we also feel your love as well. We want to remind you that even though sometimes you may not be able to feel love for yourself, but we know that you do love yourself. You're just not focusing on the level of your consciousness that is simply love itself. And we hope that by our channeling, by our energies around you, that we can give you just a glimpse of the love that you truly are. because we share that same love. And love is not an adequate word to describe that. That feeling that we feel for you. It is like you are a part of us and that there is no separation between us. What we feel about you is how we feel, not, not even family, but how we feel about a part of us, an integral, vital part of us. That's how we feel. And that's why we're here to serve you because you are part of us and we are part of you. There is no separation. And when we see you, we don't just see your body, we see all of you, just like we see all of ourselves. We are spirit. 
And we are energy. And energy has no beginning and has no end. And so, there is really no beginning of us that is separate from you. And that's why, and that's how you know that when we say we love you, that we are speaking truth because we don't see you as being apart from us. You are one of us, only doing different things, having a different experience than we are having. And we just want to leave you all with this feeling of oneness, of reminding you to open your heart to allow more of you to step out and more of us to step in because we are all simply one, indivisible. And that's the journey that we are all going through. That every time we meet, we know and experience more of what you experience. And you can experience more of what we experience. We love you very much and thank you for giving us this opportunity to once again speak with you, communicate with you, serve you, understand you, be here for you. to understand more of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you. Goodbye for now. <laughs>